Hey guys, I'm back for day 12 of NaNoWriMo, and today I'm going to be doing an updated bookshelf tour um, as requested by a Miami smart girl. You can check out her channel below. And um, yeah, I have to do this really quick, so let's get started. So here's a little overview of my bookshelf. I'm just going to do the first three bookcases right now, and tomorrow I'll do my manga collection update. But let's get started. On the first shelf, I have Hawks Harbor by Essie Hinton. Um, I found this really cheap at a bookstore, and it's by one of my favorite authors. But Devouring by Simon Holt. This is a horror novel, like a YA horror novel, um, about spirits and uh, these th things called the Bowers that steal your soul. Um, this is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. Um, it's a love story kind of thing, a uh, co-authored book. Um, this is a really hard... Actually, it just came out. I'm sorry. I just I found this at Borders when it just came out. Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick, the sequel to Hush Hush, which I love. I love Hush Hush, so I'm looking forward to reading this. All these books, by the way, I have to read, so... Yeah. Uh, Virals by Kathy Reichs. This is the same author who did the Bones series, and this is a, uh, kind of... It sounds like a dystopian novel. It's, it reminds me of, uh, Maximum Ride, but with dogs. <laughs> um, Sing Me to Sleep by Angela Morrison. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Sweet Scarlet by Maureen Johnson. This is a, about a girl who lives in a hotel. And Maureen Johnson, I hear, is an amazing writer. Um, then I have Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And this is a huge book. And the sequel just came out to that. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that if I can never have time to read that monster. Um, then we have Falling by Lauren Kate, which is a book about angels. And I've heard mixed reviews on it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to read it. I'll try to, at least. Um, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Here are the authors on the back of the book. That's them. John and David. Um, basically, this is about two... It's told through two people's perspectives, both named Will Grayson. And um, it's about their kind of quest for love and everything. And there's more to it, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, Rules of Attraction by Simone Alclez. And this is a romance novel, uh, the sequel slash companion novel to Perfect Chemistry, told through these two characters' perspectives that are on the cover. Right here I have Nevermore by Kelly Cray, and this is a debut novel, um, kind of a... Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it's about Edgar Allan Poe, kind of, like this guy is a goth and she's a preppy girl. And it's kind of about their love, and he has a notebook that he can write things out of, um, Edgar Allan Poe characters and such. And there's more to it. I haven't read it yet, so I'm kind of just going off what I know. Uh, the Death House Waves by Carrie Ryan, which is the companion novel to this book. Uh, the Force of Pants and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. They're both uh, zombie books, so I'm excited to read those. Uh, the Vampire Diaries, The Awakening and the Struggle. This is the first bind-up by L.J. Smith. And it is about vampires. Um, I've heard good, good things about it. The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. This is about ghosts, and I haven't read a ghost paranormal YA book yet, so I'm excited to read that one. Uh, the next book I have is The Realm of Possibility by David Levithan. There's his name right there. Um, this book is impossible to find. His books are super, super hard to find. I can't... Uh, I found that once, and that's the only David Levithan book I found besides uh, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. <laughs> so that was stupid. But I'm still looking forward to reading it. Um, the Return to Paradise by Simone Alcalaz, the sequel to Leaving Paradise, which I loved. And I love Simone Alcalaz. Uh, the Iron King by Julie Kagawa. Uh, heard some good things about it. It's about fairies. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. This is about a girl who can go into other realms, so that's really cool. Rampant by Diana Peterfrund. It's about um, this girl who can hunt unicorns, obviously. Um, it sounds really good. Looking for Alaska by John Green. I have started reading that one. Oh, you can't really see. There's the bookmark. Anyway, um, I've heard amazing things about this one, so I'm really looking forward to finishing it. I'll probably try to read this next. Then I have Need by Carrie Jones. Uh, this is a book about pixies. I've heard it's really good. Uh, Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Fantaski. This is a book about um, a girl that finds out that she is betrothed to a Romanian vampire prince. Then we have The Night Runner by Max Turner. 
about a guy who, um, he lives in an Salem Salem, and he has these weird allergies, and basically, he's trying to find the mystery of why he's in the Salem Salem and why he has these allergies, so it sounds really good. And the last book on this little part of my shelf is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Um, this is a thriller book. It's the first book in the Chaos Walking series. And I've heard some really good things about it, but not many people have talked about it um, on YouTube that much, so that's why I got it. I wanted to kind of be one of the first to talk about it. <laughs> then right here I have The Dangerous Days of Daniel X by James Patterson and Michael Ledwich. And this is basically about this boy who is an alien hunter because these aliens killed his parents, and he's out to hunt um, the aliens that killed his parents and all the aliens that are on this list um, that he has. So it's not, it was really, really good. Um, I recommend that one. And then uh, Daniel X Watch the Skies by James Patterson and Ned Russ. This is a sequel, which I haven't read yet, but I really want to. It looks really good. And this third one came out recently, but they changed the covers, which really, really makes me mad. Ugh, I hate when they do that. Then I have uh, Sharp Teeth by Toby Barlow. This is a novel written in verse. If I can open it up and show you. Here you can see it's in verse. And um, it's about um, werewolves and lyc lycanthropes. It's an uh, adult novel, so I really want to read that. It's the only adult novel on this shelf. Uh, then we have Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I haven't read this yet either, but it's a debut. And it's about this girl that dies in a car accident, and she has to relive the last seven days of her life. So that was, sounds really, really good. And then kind of to go along with that, I have 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, which is basically about this girl who, um, she kills herself, and she sends out tapes to people that um, are the reasons why she killed herself. So it sounds really creepy and interesting. And then I have the uh, Evernight Academy series right here by, by uh, Claudia Gray. It has Evernight, Stargazer, and Hourglass. And I have read the first two books in this series, Evernight and Stargazer, and I love them. They are so good. Um, compared to the Twilight series, this is just totally, completely better than that. And I haven't read Hourglass yet, but... I really want to. And the fourth book, the final book, comes out next year. It's called Afterlife, and I'm really excited to read that. Then I have White Cat by Holly Black, and this is basically, um, I reviewed this. It's like a book about curse workers who are people that can uh, do things with their minds and make you do things, um, like magic, kind of, but it's more about, like, the mafia, kind of. It's really it's really confusing to explain, but you just have to read it for yourself. I really liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it, so I would recommend it. Then I have Hush Hush by Beck Fitzpatrick. Um, I love this book. Uh, it's so, so good. I really loved it. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. And then I have the Hunger Games series, which is The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay all by Suzanne Collins, which is an amazing series that I highly recommend to everyone. I love this series. Basically, it's a dystopian novel uh, kind of series um, about the Hunger Games, which are where kids are forced to kill themselves in this big arena, um, and it's about a corrupt government, and it's just so, so good. I highly recommend it. It's just amazing, and Mockingjay was my favorite. Um, Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalaz, which is one of my favorite romance novels I've ever read. It is just seriously so, 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 so good. I loved it so much. And I hate um, when this happens to a book. You see that? Oh, that makes me so mad. I'm gonna, I want to rebuy it in hardcover or something. And then I have Leaving Paradise by Simone Alcalaz, which is also really, really amazing. Um, basically, this one's about this girl that gets hit by this guy who is a, who is driving drunk. And he hits her, and it basically ruins her life. She was popular, and now she's getting picked on at school, and and she's just having a really, really hard time uh, trying to discover who she really is. And it's all about how love always finds a way <laughs> kind of thing. I can't get that in. Screw it. Um, Paper Towns by John Green, which is also really, really, really amazing. I love this book. It's so good. It's so funny. Uh, read it for chapter 13 alone, because that's just the best chapter I've ever read, ever. It's so funny. 
And then I have uh, this book I haven't read yet, but it's Little Brother by Cory Doctorow. And it's kind of, um, it's like what would happen if our government crumbled in 9-11, in like um, these kids get captured because in San Francisco because they think that they are terrorists and it looks really, really, really good. I can't wait to read it.